Scorpio. This is your astrology forecast for May of 2014 and also applies if you've got a Scorpio ascendant or moon. So my dear Scorpios, the big news this month for you is that your co-ruler Mars finally goes direct on the 20th of this month. Mars here sitting, lurking in your 12th house. So for many of you Scorpios, there's been a lot of frustration over these last couple of months, feeling as though you are starting, stopping, starting again, stopping, as though the energy is somehow, it's been blocked, it's not been flowing easily enough. And hopefully once this Mars goes direct on May 20th onwards, certainly by the end of the month, you really should feel as though anything you're putting your energy into is much more productive. You'll feel as though things are just generally moving forwards more easily. You can just get more continuity in your life that you maybe haven't been able to have up until now, or at least for a while. Let me take you through the month step by step. On the third of the month, we've got Venus changing sign, going out of Pisces, and into Aries, joining Uranus here in your sixth house of health and work. Now, Venus always brings a little bit of help wherever she is. So, as far as work concerned, there could be somebody nice in your work area. In fact, you might even be attracted to somebody in your work area, and it could happen quite suddenly with Uranus there. As well, it can also bring you a little bit more popularity it could also enable you to get more of what you want in the work area. It would also be very good for anything connected with your health. Um, you may want to watch out for sugar and sweetie things like that because of course Venus loves anything sweet. But it can also help you find somebody if you need some help with your health, maybe with training, getting yourself fit, or with a medical professional, this Venus really could bring you just someone out of the blues, just the, just the person you've been hoping for could come into your life at this time. And Venus and Uranus don't come together very often. It's uh, once a year it happens, this year, between May 15th and 16th, they are conjunct, and so this um, brings surprises. There could be a financial surprise, a love surprise, because Venus does rule your love and your finances as well. So just be ready for some surprises. I know Scorpios, you're not terribly keen on surprises. You're a fixed sign and you'd much rather have control and try to know what's coming. But I think this is going to bring you some surprises anyway. So may as well try and enjoy it. Now, on the 10th and 11th of the month, we've got an exact opposition between Mars and Venus here. Um, so, what I would say this is going to mean is like, again, this feeling like of a sudden attraction for something, for someone, for, it could even be a cause with it being in the 6th house, for something about justice, could have something to do with animals, for those of you who love animals, but something being triggered here that gets you moving again, that gets you excited, that gets you passionate. Because Scorpios, once your passion is off and running, there's no stopping you. You really are unstoppable. The big news for you, Scorpios, this month is that we've got a full moon in your sign, Scorpio, on the 14th of the month. So here we are, a full moon in your first house here, joining Saturn. So you know, there's nothing that is not intense about your life, Scorpios. So having a full moon in Scorpio, you'll be familiar with the intensity. The emotions are going to be intense. It's going to uncover any of the things that you've kind of like kept a lid on, tried to keep down, tried not to bother you. Well, they're going to be up for healing in some way, the important things. So allow things to come up. Remember that this is for your healing, this is for your better good. As well with Saturn in your sign, many of you are having to reinvent yourselves, really starting slowly, planting new seeds. This full moon will be shining a light on some of the things that you've been doing. And you'll see how well you're doing, maybe where there are some improvements to be made. 
<clears throat> and Saturn will want you to take some steps as to how you're going to structure things to be able to be productive along the way. On the 22nd of the month, we've got the sun. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited with all the other things going on. On the 8th of the month, Mercury goes into your 8th house. And on the 22nd of the month, the sun joins your 8th your house. This is the 8th house of money for you, Scorpios, your security, your safety. Shining a light on particularly your finances, your assets, where you've got your money, your banking, your mortgage, your insurance, your tax, anything to do with the management of your finances. Um, you're getting some help there. There may even be some help from somebody else. There could be a grant, but especially if you apply for funding or help. You may well get it during this time because these planets are really helping you towards that. As well, if you are in a relationship or a business partnership, this too could be helpful for the finances of the whole entity or the finances of both of you. And finally, but last but certainly not least, we've got a nice light-hearted moon on the 28th of the month. We've got a light-hearted new moon in Gemini, joining these guys in your eighth house. But the new moon in Gemini is so in contrast to this serious, intense, full moon dramatic full moon in your sign and then we've got this light new moon in Gemini so time Scorpios to see the funny side of life to watch funny videos if that's what it takes to get you into that mood but to, to, to see things from a lighter perspective it's also going to pique certainly some curiosity for many of you into metaphysics into anything that's deep that's the unseen, astrology, numerology, tarot, all these things. You may find yourself going on a course or doing something that furthers your knowledge in this area. Because the new moon in Gemini is all about curiosity and trying a bit of this and a bit of that. And I know, Scorpios, you don't necessarily like so many different things on the go because you don't like to scatter yourself. But give yourself permission for a day or two towards the end of the month just to be light, to have some fun, and to create a different tone and a vibration that you're putting out. And that too will draw more of the things that you really want in your life to you. So there you have it, my dear Scorpios. I wish you a great month. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, sharing. I greatly appreciate it. Bye for now.